Hello, everyone. I'm Andy Patachik, Senior Director of Analytics at East Daily Analytics. Now I wanted to do a quick follow up on a first take we put out earlier this week on the PDC Chevron merger and wanted to walk through a couple tools available to you on Energy Data Studio that help that may help you understand the implication um, to, to midstream operators, particularly GMP midstream operators. Uh, so we're going to look at the producer to system analysis first for PDC. We know that predominantly they operate in the DJ and in the Permian. Most production coming in Weld County, but they also have a decent amount coming from Adams County as well in the DJ and then some production in Reeves County, Texas in the Permian as well too. Um, looking at Chevron, they operate in more basins, uh, but they do have a decent amount of production in the DJ. Also, Western Colorado and the Peons, some production in the Barnetts, and then a lot of production in the Permian as well, too. So let's jump back over PDC's producer to system analysis here, and let's really just focus on, on the DJ. So looking at just the DJ, we see that they PDC does send most of their gas to DCP Denver Julesburg, but they also send a decent amount to Williams Discovery System and also the West DJ system as well, too. Uh, the color coding of the tree map in the top left corner, uh, this is colored by the peak utilization from current month through the next 12 months. Um, so, you know, green means there's plenty of space and according to our forecast, uh, you know, orange is getting a little tight. Uh, Red, you know, it's it's met peak peak utilization, nameplate utilization. So, looking at historical production volumes for PDC, they have spent, sent most of it to DCP Denver Julesburg, followed by Williams Discovery System, and then also the West DJ System. A little further to the right, you can also see PDC's historical rig activity and where we have allocated those rigs by system. Um, let's look specifically at the DCP Denver Julesburg system. Um, moving to the bottom of the dashboard here, we can see the red line represents the capacity of this system. The orange area graph is historical and our forecasted throughput for the DCP Denver J Julesburg system. And then this green line represents how much production from PD of P PDC's production we have modeled to that system. So. Uh, they do make up uh, a large majority of the historical throughput. Um, so PDC has been a large counterparty to DCP. Let's move over to Chevron and we'll also look at the DJ. And see who's been gathering and processing their gas. Um, interestingly, Chevron, their largest uh, GMP counterparty is DCP Denver Julesburg as well. Uh, followed by Wes DJ. Um, the one different one we don't see on this uh, with Chevron is the Williams Discovery System. But you can see, you know, they have sent a lot of gas to DCP, uh, a decent amount to West DJ, but that has fallen off more recently. Let's look at West DJ. Now it looks like they make up, call it 50% of the the throughput through that system as well too. So sticking with the DJ, let's actually compare a couple of these systems to each other. So I've moved over to the GMP comparative analysis tool. And let's look at DCP West and Williams. And what this dashboard allows us to do is look at the footprints of these systems compared to each other, and then also some of the key operating metrics for them as well, too. So as you can see in the DJ, a um, lot of operations are really focused on the in Weld County. It's like. There we go. Now we get the maps back. So a lot of 
the uh, emphasis is in Weld County, where a lot of the production is at. Um, we can look at how these systems really overlap each other quite a bit. Um, DCP Denver Julesburg is in blue. Uh, West DJ is in gold, and then Williams is in purple. Uh, the triangles represent their various processing plants in the basin. Um, we can scroll down a little further here, uh, and we can see the system capacity and throughput for each of these systems. So West DJ was in the gold. We can see the straight line. Here's their capacity. They are the largest uh, by looking at capacity, uh, followed by DJ, and then Williams, the more recent entry into the basin, uh, is a little bit lower at 485 MMCF day capacity. And then the lines here, we can see what the historical throughput has been and then our forecasted throughput. So although WES is the largest by capacity, DCP historically has been the largest processor in the basin and looks to remain that way based on our forecast, followed by uh, WES and then Williams. This is also reinforced by uh, what we've seen historically with rig activity, um, although it looks like WES had more of a more rigs in the past and is forecasted to have more rigs going forward. Uh, DCP in the blue, Williams in the purple, um, which gets us to some more analytics on this. Um, you know, if Wes has more rigs, how are they not the largest processor in the basin? And we can look at IP rates, decline curves, and ultimately the EURs for the for the wells on these systems. So looking at this blue being DCP, we have seen that DCP, their IP rates have been higher. Um, you know, Williams, they seem to be kind of up and down kind of around the place. And then, you know, Wes recently kind of looks like they're trending more down um, with these higher IP rates. Um, you can see that one well on a DCP system you know, could be better acreage, um, different drilling techniques. But you know, higher IP rates, and then with those decline curves, um, you're going to get ultimately higher EURs out of a, a, the wells on the DCP system that you know PDC a lot of their acreage is on. So um, that could have been something that was appealing to to Chevron as they look to increase their production in the DJ. Um, you know, it could be acreage, could be that that drilling technology. But you know, the EURs are are quite larger for for the wells on the DCP system. Um, so this tool is good to get a quick overview when comparing these systems. We can also do a deeper dive into the individual systems as well, too, using the GMP system analysis tool. So let's pull up DCP. Denver Julesburg. And so what this dashboard does is it really zooms into to kind of what's going on with these systems. And we really try to show the different layers of data that are available for the system. So in the volumes overview graph in this top left, you can see capacity for the system. The orange area is the historical and forecasted throughput that comes from an in-house production model based on the actual wells we have modeled in that system. And then with a rig forecast applied to that. And then the green dot is what has been reported by the company or is coming from state reported plant data. And then this dark blue line is the real time flow sample that is tied to the meters on the tailgate of these plants feeding into interstate pipelines. So as you can see, there's been a little dip on DCP over the past few quarters, um, but we do see growth, have forecasted growth coming on the system going forward. Uh, this is largely driven by a uh, four rig forecast going forward. Um, moving down a little further, we can see the top counterparties by producer at the bottom. So PDC is the largest counterparty on the DCP system. 56% uh, of the throughput is coming from them. Uh, but interestingly, 30% you know, second largest contributor volumes is from Chevron there as well, too. We can also let's take a quick look at Wes as well, too. That was another system that they shared in common. So switching over to Wes's DJ system, um, little different story on the outlook for that system. Uh, they did have a plan expansion in 2020, um, but volumes have been trending down a little bit, although we are starting to see a little uptick here. So I'd imagine 
our next um, production outlook, production forecast for this system might be uh, trending upward, but it is a little more flat in the trajectory going forward. Um, we do carry forward those five current rigs going forward a little bit, but then a drop going forward, um, which resulted in this. But you know, maybe with the PDC Chevron merger, this may change the outlook a little bit. Um, not surprisingly, Oxy is the largest counterparty, representing 68% of the, the volumes going to the West system. Uh, but we do see Chevron with 9% over here, and PDC is contributing 3% of that going forward as well, too. Um, like I said, just wanted to make a short video to display a couple of tools that are available on Energy Data Studio. Um, if you have any questions or need any help walking through any of these tools, please don't hesitate to, to reach out to insight at eastdaily.com. And thank you.